This Linux GameCast is brought to you by... <laughs> I don't think anyone would sponsor this train wreck. Oh, I know, right? Coming up on this, Linux GameCast Weekly. Your fearless heroes brave the storm from the comfort of their own house. Jordan gets one year older. I talk about System 76 is slightly overpriced. New PC. Nexus kicks in with four 7 and 10 inch tablets. Stunt Rally gets an update and more. Coming up. Let's go. Welcome back to another Linux GameCast Weekly, the show that covers Linux gaming news, reviews, and basically whatever the hell we come up with. I'm Ben Stone, and joining me, as always, from our satellite in the Great Plaid North, Mr. J. How's it going, man? It's the Great Argyle North, you Philistine. Argyle North. Um, Argyle. There's a very big difference. Bad vet. No cookie for you. This big. It's not that big of a difference. Anyways, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm doing quite well. How are you? I, I'm doing all right, man. And to switch up the notes a little bit, let's go ahead and get started with what we've been up to in the past week, because we don't intentionally make a note not really to talk to each other during the week. We're just, we're just busy. But, so Very busy. What have you been up to? Oh, uh, another year has passed since I vomited forth from my mother's orifice, so there's that. Got me some new hardware for my birthday. What type of hardware did you get, man? I got me a GTX 670 Superclocked with 4 gigs of GDDR5. I was playing Deus Ex Human Revolution today, and I was actually able to watch a HD video on my other monitor. And I was very satisfied with myself. So you're pretty happy with that. Um, with the aging process that we have not addressed, how many cycles have... How many souls? How many cycles? Accor according to this, 23 cycles have passed since, again, the whole womb vomiting thing. Hmm. I like how you put that in very romantic terms. But you uh, did speak at... How does that the go? FSOS, the free and open so or free software and open source symposium. What is held. that, man? Uh, that is a yearly conference that's held at uh, the Seneca College of Applied Arts and Technology. And for the past two years, I had to give a little talk. Uh, last year's one was me basically describing the whole Fedora ARM process. This year, I gave a primer on how hack pewters work, like uh, Raspberry Pi and the Gooseberry and the QB board. But yeah, that was fun. I got I got to talk to a whole bunch of blank high schooler stairs and that really validated my existence. Isn't that always a fun thing? It's like I know so much more than you. Yeah. And then you just get their blank sort of deer cotton headlight stairs and you're like Yeah. You, a little you, bit you, of guys, you guys are here because you you're forced to be here and I'm gonna torture you. <laughs> it is it was just simply my delight. I can I, honestly I, I, respect I, that. I had to do these things in high school, whereas hell, and now I'm the one who gets to torture them. <laughs> it is uh, the torture system when it comes to uni. I'll give you that. So is that it? Um, I got this no, little thing, bad networking. You know, is that like a bad, bad romance, man? Bad networking. I live with my parents, so I can't run cable in the house. So I've been running experiments on all week about how best to get my server, which is down here, to talk to the great, and which I just got repaired, to talk to the greater internet at large so I can start running my own infrastructure again. And that has been one colossal failure after another. Um, I hate network cards with Raylink chipsets now because, not Raylink, uh, Realtek chipsets because they aren't supported 
in older kernels that are running on specific enterprise Linux distributions that shall not be named. That shall not be named. And um, if you ever have the pleasure of what is this thing called again? Yes, a a no. Come on, there we are. Uh, D Link D A P thirteen sixty. Throw it out or return it. What is that? Is Some type that, of um, Wi-Fi repeater? Or? Yeah, it's it's a repeater bridge access point all in one, and it is crap. The throughput on there is complete garbage. I gotta take the one I bought back. And I was able to convince uh, one of my friends who is doing an online business course from Stanford to make the product he's trying to sell open source. So that was kind of cool. Now that's awesome of you. And that's how we get things done. And is that your friend that took your advice? That is my friend who took my advice. He also went and got a new laptop and sometime next week I'm going to torch the Windows partition on his system and install some nice Linuxy goodness. And just to clarify, you are using Linux right now, much like me, and we're recording I all am. this under Linux 100% as always. So I 100%. guess it's my turn for show and tell. Oh, yes. Mm. I, I, I've, so it turns out last week's podcast turned out fairly well, did it? Well, the recording's not too bad. Um, we only ended up with two full seconds of audio drift. Now, if you're looking at professional software or anything like, you know, a sane person would construct and write, that's completely unusable. But compared to the um, 10 to 12 seconds of audio drift for 45 to an hour's worth of recording, that's easy peasy for me to fix and post. And that's one thing we talked about. Because we get to chop the ends off of it and get it up there quick. So I was really happy about that. It, it's worked, and we're going to try to reduce that. It's kind of looking like the latest SVN version of SVN. Why do I say that? The latest Git pull of um, FFmpeg is starting to address that, and... I started doing some really crazy stuff with FFmpeg this week that involves um, making it capture some 3D stuff. Ooh, kinky. Yeah, I know. But um, after that, I did get into the um, Hawking closed beta. We got a little bit of a guide up there on Linux Gamecast. If you were lucky enough, you know, one of the 5,000 people. And unfortunately, the servers are... I don't know if they're still open, but if you're up this weekend, you know, they're going down faster than Paris Hilton in a Monaco nightclub, unfortunately. And but you do love that analogy. I made it myself, so I like to keep using that. And to rush through these right quick so we can get into the fun stuff. YouTube has decided to put one of our videos in something called Monitoring for Possible Review. Can you imagine Ooh. what that means? I probably could, but I would probably be wrong. I would probably be wrong, too, because there's no way to ask the Googs what's going on. They're like, this is what you dealt, deal with it, and maybe we'll decide. And if you guys listening have any illusions of making money off monetizing these videos, let me tell you something. I've, before the partnership program opened basically to everyone, you know, I fought teeth and nail to get into the program. And I finally did. You're looking at maybe a quid or dollar for per 1,000 views. So, wow. Yeah. If a lot of people watch it, we might be able to buy, you know, some Subway. Tell your friends, I want free lunch. Yeah. Definitely going to have to buy Jordan lunch on that. But... I had a problem with Ubuntu, since I'm coming from oh. Ubuntu, and Mr. J here is rocking the fedoras. I am. So it comes to me as a huge surprise when something wrong happens with Ubuntu. Well, it's not really the huge surprise when something goes wrong with Ubuntu, but... Uh, the incredible issue is trying to fix it when something goes wrong that their little gooeys can't handle. Now, I'm a Fedora person, old red hat person, Slackware before that. 
Slackware. Yes. User-friendly as a coiled rattlesnake, we like to say back in my day. And I'll adjust my yeah. onion. Here's the thing. I have very simple three monitor setup. This one, got one over here, and got one up here to keep track of things. And it seems like every five or six months, Ubuntu will just completely lose its shite. It can't... It's like, okay, where's what monitor wire? So I fired up the um, NVIDIA setup utility, and there's no longer, you know, the little gooey NVIDIA thing. Do you ever use that? Uh, yeah, okay. I, I, I usually just use it to generate the base xorg.conf, and then I just dig in there. Right, and I've always been impressed with its ability to, and it's like, here's this monitor, here's this monitor, here's this monitor. Mm -hmm. And it's always had an option to set your default monitor. And I was like, oh, click, generate. Done. That's not there anymore, man. No? No. That's weird. It's always been a little, you know, clicky box option. Not so much anymore. And this is something that kind of terrifies me, you know, since we have Steam and all this coming to Linux. Now, for me, much like with Jordan... It was a two-second fix, you know, pseudo G-Edit, fired up, you know, ETC X11, <laughs> um, and edited the xorg.config file and just manually set, because I've been reading, you know, since it was XF86, X386 config, I mm -hmm. can read, it, it make, it, you know, it's human language to me at this point, and I was like, oh, here, 01011, you're on primary monitor, save kill the X server, restart, done with that, but that's a showstopper for somebody, and I'm not picking on Ubuntu users since I'm using Ubuntu, but don't you think that would have just destroyed your average yeah. Ubuntu? Yeah. No, but that, 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 that could be, we could possibly see that as a positive, though. Um, it, may, it may mean that documentation is going to have to get a lot more clearer and user-friendly. And if there's one thing I've learned while working in open source, open source types love their documentation. They just take care of it so well. I think um, that's true. Um, but, you know, that again, a little bit of slight towards NVIDIA, but man, compared to ATI... Uh, well, we'll get into that later. Yeah, we will definitely address that issue later but it's time for that one thing we do every week and every week we do that one thing and what is that one that thing? is our steam linux update of the week so this one's on you man what do we have here this looks like a valve linux steam client beta application Oh, yes. If you log in on their website, you can fill out a rather poorly coded HTML server. Now, what, what so, website will we be talking about? Oh, yes. Valvesoftware.com slash Linux survey dot fup or PHP for those of you who don't oh, use okay. fup as a suffix. Um, so you can go there. You can log in with your Steam account and fill out their horrifically coded HTML survey. Did you get and a chance to fill out the survey? Oh, I did. That's why I know it's horrifically coded. Ah. But <laughs> I digress. What are some of the um, questions we saw on there? Uh, how, how long have you been using Linux? What kind of hardware are you running? 15 years. Well, you're 10 years older than me, so... Yeah, Seven, you kind no, of eight, have that advantage. Eight. I'm eight years older than you. Eight, whatever. Eight, ten, same difference. Quiet, son of a bar. So what else do they want to do? Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Um, but yeah, fill out the survey. You get a chance to uh, get into the Steam Linux beta. It, I don't know if they said that exactly that. That would be your chance to get into it. But I think that's probably, you know, a good step forward. Um, one thing I noticed, you know, I said, how long you've been using it? I was like, how long do you go? Because yeah. you know, I went full Linux around 1996 when I was a teenager. A um, couple things I noticed, um, what type of CPU you were using, and were you using dual monitors? I think that was an important 
Yeah, I, I, I was actually surprised to see that question. Pleasantly surprised. By I was too, surprised. but once I started looking at that, I, I started braining about, all right, how do I need to answer this in order to get the golden ticket? As opposed to, let's be honest, as opposed to, all right, what do you want to know? Bon. Interesting. Yeah. I, I, I didn't take it that way. Well, I didn't take I, it that way. I started out trying to think, all right, what do I need to key in in order to get this? But I didn't do that, but that was my thought process. Mm -hmm. I, th I, th I actually think they want a variety of uh, hardware configurations, though. So, if you got the obscure options, maybe that's a good thing. That might be a good idea. But continuing with our Steam-filled show, we do have Steam launches an official Linux group. Now, this is something we posted at linuxgamecast.com. This was posted October 24th, a couple days back. Yesterday, TF2 showed up in the Steam CDR. If you don't know what that is, visit the site, click the link, you'll find out. And today, Valve launched the Linux Community Group. Now, what is a Linux community group? If you're familiar with Steam, it's a community group. I mean, yeah, uh, I mean that's that's pretty self-explanatory. But it's official. That's the important thing. And at the time, let's see how many people have joined this critter. Oh, I do want to thanks to Boot in the comments pointing out where you can join the group and let's take a look at that right quick there are currently now when i joined this there were 300 members a few days when later I joined, there was maybe i think a thousand or so eleven thousand four hundred and twenty members 644 in game now my wildest dreams i would like to believe that's in game since you do know that steam running on under wine registers as running under wine it detects that and reports it back mm -hmm. so that's cool beans i enjoy that the only downside is you immediately see that um nine-year-olds are linux users too apparently oh joy and they're in the forums doing their thing but Maybe that'll sort itself out. Still good things. Hey, the young, hey it means the youngins are getting on Linux early. You it's gotta get them on the industry. early, you man. You gotta get them when you're young. Yeah, right. But, you know, we don't want the BF2 thing. You know, I think they'll be they're not chased out. Maybe it'll just grow up a bit. What do you think? This is the internet, Ben. This is the internet. They're not gonna grow up. Of course. This is This, this is like... Never Neverland and all the worst parts of Never Neverland. So it's kind of like Spice World, the movie, right? Except with less meatloaf. Hmm. Anything with less meatloaf. But continuing on with our Valve Circle jerk, we have Valve. Linux more viable than Windows 8 for gaming. Check this out. And this Ooh. is from UbuntuVibes.com, friend of the show. In a presentation, from the, straight straight from the Ubuntu the Developer Summit as well. Yeah, and as the article reads, in a presentation at Ubuntu Developer Summit, currently going on in Denmark, Drew Bliss from Valve said that Linux is more viable than Windows 8 for gaming. Windows 8 ships with its own app store, and it's moving away from an open platform model. Now, I do like to read between the lines of this. This is, you know, yes, it's great that Valve is coming to Linux. Well, Steam, you know, Valve's getting Steam on Linux. But they're mm -hmm. also realizing that Windows 8 is going to be in direct competition with them. And that's one of the reasons. Would you agree? Yep. I've, I've been saying that for a while. They don't want to compete on the Windows storefront. And, and that's by competing, thing. they don't want to give, you know... Um, Windows a taste. Yeah, they, they yep. don't want to have to sell their games through the Windows store. They want what they have is the Valve store. Indeed. Steam store. But continuing on with this, we got a couple of highlights. Um, Steam Clinic. Clinic. Oh, that was the first one we made tonight. 
Steam is client is running nicely under Ubuntu, and I cannot or can confirm that. Working good with Kenokio. Uh, cannot. Kenokio. I know, man. I'm a man. You try switching a show and talking. All right. You, you, want, you want me to cover this? You do it. All right. They said that Ubuntu is the preferred platform, unfortunately. But it's there is a plus to that. They've got their big user base, and they got a good community support, and Canonical's backing it, so Shuttleworth's billions are right behind that. And it seems they say uh, new Source Engine games will be available. Indeed. But unfortunately, they haven't set a time frame, but they did say it soon. But soon in Valve time could be anywhere from six months to six years. Right, and, you know, news around the um, rumor mill is that Half-Life 3, when it ever comes out, will be available for Steam. But Drew announced something that I think was kind of important. What did he announce? He announced that anyone with a Launchpad account at the Ubuntu Developer Summit will be given Steam access through a key. And now I kind of want to haul my butt to Denmark. Or as you said, lucky bastards. Lucky bastards. Which I agree with you. The one thing I want to know is how many people are in attendance, because I'm sure that's going to cut into our 1,000 golden ticket availability. Indeed. But how many people there would have a... Oh, I guess it's developers, so a lot of them would have a Launchpad account, wouldn't they? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, time to track down some developers, but I think that's good news. We're pretty much sold on that. Maybe by the end of October. October. Coming up in a few days, we will get our chance at a crack at uh, my game, or two games, which I've also heard mm -hmm. since I since I read it somewhere else. I can say that Serious Sam. No, wait. Nope, 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 not serious. I'm Duke Nukem Forever. Duke Nukem Forever. Whoa, that masterpiece of... Duke no, 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 it was Serious Sam 3. I can't remember. I just want to confuse people. I think it might mm. have been Serious Sam 3. One of the two, which I read somewhere else, might be coming. Maybe on launch date. Maybe. Mm. Unfortunately, Serious Sam 3 was quite a bit of a disappointment for me. Well, you know, Serious Sam 3 is like watching the Transformers and seeing people go, well, the story and plot didn't really make sense. And I was like, listen, I watch Transformers for one reason. I want to see robots beat each other up. Done. But instead, we get Shia LaBeouf. Mm, Le Bleu. Le Beef. Oh, your Canadian slipping. I can my Canadian, it. my French Canadian is oh, showing. Oui, oui, oui. So what do we got up next, man? Let's cut into oui, oui. hardware. Hardware. Are then are you hard for hardware? That's completely no. inappropriate, and absolutely I am. But this one begs to question my digital boner, and this is from. OMG Ubuntu.co.uk meet the 799 all in one PC from our friends System76. What do we have here? We have the first all in one PC to ship with Ubuntu pre installed, and it looks like it has uh, the speakers from the G whatever Cube Mac from like 1997. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. But, here's the thing that can caught me. The price starts at $799. So, 800 bucks. But the specs are rather modest, in my opinion. Yeah, what, what do we get for the... Um... We, 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 get, we, get a, we get an average i5 at 2.9 gigahertz, 4 gigs of RAM. Here's the biggest crime in my book. HD, gra HD 2500 graphics. Intel integrated uh, graphics, and that pretty much nixes it for. Well, it'll work with source. Wait, can at, I? At, at least you can play your TF2 on it. Uh, but it's got a 250 gig hard drive, speakers, webcam, microphone, 
and all their other kit and caboodle you can expect from any modern functional computer. But only a 21.5 inch screen, and that to me is just way too far on the anemic side. Yeah, I mean, I, I get that they're trying to keep the specs down, but to, to keep the cost down, but still, I can build a better system for this. Yeah. But we're paying for the Ubuntu support mechanism built behind System76. I have mm -hmm. nothing but good wishes for them. I just think this is um, a little overpriced and underpowered for what they're delivering. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on, on, well, you, you, you saw it earlier in our little back and forth earlier this week when I, when I saw the specs. My response was simply WTF. Yeah. Which I think is kind of appropriate for people like us because, you know, we're getting ready to build a new computer. We're going to the parts store, Newegg, and specking out individual components. Maybe this will. Oh, that, 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 that lovely little 670 sitting in my computer speaks to that right now. Right. No discrete graphics card, but maybe the only thing is I, I could recommend this maybe if it had. A 24, preferably like a 27-inch screen. And make, Seriously? Yeah, make it a grand, but a 21-inch screen to me feels like a calculator. Yeah. No, honestly, given the cost of RAM these days, 4 gigs is inexcusable. No, I mean, that's misery. You don't even need a PAE kernel. You could just run that and might as well just run it in 32. Yeah. But let's go uh, ahead and... Go ahead. Let's yes, let's move on. Yeah. There's some there's some noise coming out of the Googs that you had some words about. Yeah, the Googs throws down a big floppy ten incher, and by big floppy oh. ten incher I mean oh a my. tablet. Giggity. And Giggity. well, a couple of sizes. We have a Nexus four, Nexus seven, and a Nexus ten, as we see here. All priced accordingly until we screech down to the Nexus ten, which they want. How many? Four hundred dollars for a ten-inch tablet. Uh, I paid five hundred dollars for my ten-inch tablet, but that was an Asus EPad transformer that came with a keyboard dock. Right. I get sixteen hours of battery out of that sucker. I mean, but I mean, the resolution is terrific. No, the resolution's mental. But all right. Full disclosure, I, I own a Nexus 7, and my favorite hacker tab is my Arcos G9, which I also own another 10-inch tablet on top of that, an Arcos G8. But, you know, the G9, I think I probably paid, you know, somewhere in the realm of, like, $412, $413 for a year ago, which is a dual cool, but that's what kind of shocked me. The It's only a dual core tablet. Really? An Nexus 7 is a quad-core. This is a dual-core yeah. tablet. According to the article, unless I'm smoking something interesting, let's see if we can find it here. Yep, or under the hood, there's a dual-core processor, 2 gigs of RAM. Yeah. I really hope they got that wrong. You know, I'm hoping they got that wrong because for... $300, I can buy a lot more tablet than that. Yeah, seriously. But we just wanted to give that a quick mention before we moved into software. And this is something Jordan knows a thing or two about. Yes, uh, we got we got some word about, finally, the, uh, the user space driver for the GPU, the Broadcom VidCore on the Raspberry Pi, has been open sourced. Which means, which is yay, because those of you who are experiencing absolutely horrible graphical performance That's on your great. Pi will hopefully soon, I'm thinking maybe in about a six month time frame, be able to uh, get full 2D acceleration off the ridiculously powerful GPU on the Raspberry But is it really open source? No, no. It still requires a binary blob to boot. But it's better than nothing. Hey, it's released under a permissive license. Actually, news from the Fedora side of things, uh, they, ju they just altered their um, 
oh, what the hell would you call it? They all, they all, they changed their standards for what kind of binaries, binary blobs they can ship with Fedora, mm -hmm. so that Fedora will, ne as of probably F nineteen at the moment, because F eighteen Fedora eighteen for ARM is just wrapping up right now. But as, as of Fedora nineteen, that will just boot right off the box on a Raspberry Pi. Well, that's kind of awesome. And continuing on with a little segment about hardware, AMD. We're back at AMD. Ubuntu Vibes. Um, AMD Catalyst Legacy Driver still doesn't support X Server 1.13. And I think this is maybe a good public service announcement. I love AMD. I've yeah. only used AMD box. AMD since the first computer I ever built, which I think clocked in at 233 megahertz. Ooh. But when it comes to before AMD bought ATI and still continuing up to this day, I wouldn't wish AMD graphics, discrete graphics solutions on the Linux to my worst enemy, would you? <laughs> No, I, I I had a friend who decided they wanted to they wanted to buy a laptop with an AMD card to run uh, Linux on, and they had some trouble. But the, this this guy was a pro though, so he was able to get it working. But I pity I pity the uh, I pity the poor schmuck who decided he wanted to try and try out Linux and had a laptop with an AMD card or had it. No, I've never tried it with a laptop, but maybe three or four years ago, someone gave me um, the an AMD. SE edition. Well, it was ATI back then. So, yeah, see if you can get it working. I was like, it can't be that. It took an entire week. And I had wow. to modify bootloading instructions in Grub in order to make it work. Mm. Yeah, so. But what about this? Um, there are now two. Let's go back to the page. Scroll down here. There are now two AMD Catalyst 12.9 drivers. And a newer 12.10 version that still do not support XORG 1.13. The big issue with this is there's a special build of the Catalyst 12.9 that AMD provided to Ubuntu that does support it. So you might as well give up any hope that the Legacy 12.6 driver will be updated. So forget about it. You know? Forget about it. So forget about it, eh? I think that was just kind of, um, man, really? Disc, <sighs> disc. You know, in 2012, but, where's in the 2012? excuse? Where is the excuse in 2012 to have really, maybe, maybe, really maybe, bad? Maybe they're saving themselves for Wayland. Wayland just hit 1.0, so... Yeah, Wayland just released a live CD, an updated live Ooh. CD. Yeah, I want to check that out, um, you know... Oh. Yeah, something to take a look at. But I think you have something coming up, and it's a game. Hardcore on. forking action with GitHub. Forking action? Is that a euphemism? Hardcore forking action. So, yes, uh, GitHub has a game off. They want you to make a game in conjunction with Movember. Not, not the actual Movember charity, but... While, while you're growing your sick facial mustache, you can go out and make a game loosely based around one of the core concepts of GitHub. As I said before, you can base it on the hardcore forking action. You can branch it, or clone it, or push it, or pull it. Ooh, and giggity. Giggity. Do they have some prizes? So they, have, they do have some prizes. Can't say I'm happy what, about the prizes, though. Really what can't. What are the prizes? Let me pull those up. We have five shiny new iPads for the Retina oh, displays. Yeah. And well, just... You, you, could, you, could, you could sell it. I guess you could sell it. And by the way, kids, um, there's no such thing as Retina displays. It's called IPS, is the technology behind it. Yeah. Yeah, that's reality distortion marketing going there. Man. But, hey, you can sell it. You can make some money off it. Go buy yourself an Nexus 7. Uh, or an Nexus 7. Uh, uh, but coming up, uh, there there seems to be a little forceful 
been going on on Kickstarter then. A forceful thing, and that might be a little thing called forced, which is um, basically just go to kickstarter.com forward slash projects, beta dwarf forward slash, just type in forced. You'll find it. It's called Diablo meets Left 4 Dead. Indie style for the PC, Mac, Linux, Xbox 360, PS3, and it's going to be DRM3. Here's the thing, 540 backers, 12 grand pledged to a goal of $40,000. 32 days to go at time of recording. Just over a month. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, it looks neat. They're all about their cooperation, heavy focus on teamwork. Um, Hardcore, no easy use. Yeah, tons of features. It's challenging. Uh, you know, I, I really like it because it reminds me, you know, you get a bunch together, like the old um, Dungeons & Dragons game, if you remember that from way back when. No, man. Don't get me started on old Dungeons & Dragons games. I will talk your ear off. Okay. Well, we'll try not to do that. But after Force, we have something that's oh, a bit ruder and maybe a little hostile. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling hostile. Are you feeling hostile? I'm not necessarily feeling hostile, but I might be in the mood for a little turn-based tactical combat online. What do we got? Oh, yeah. We got uh, the public alpha for hostile. It's a uh, squad base. Web level turn based online combat game, according to the press. You control your squad and you get to develop a base. Kind of maybe a little less accomplish. Well, what Jordan will say, I mean, you basically get to put together a squad. His bandwidth's kind of dropping a little low. It is. And the it's turn based. We'll take a look here at the video The Art of War. Which might be kind of neat. Let's put this together. But, I mean, it's multiplayer. It looks fun. And guess what? Best of all, it's completely free. It is Java-based, unless I'm mistaken. But don't get me right. Definitely something we want to check out. And you can, as we're trying to get in the habit of doing this, this is Mindemia. It's M I. N D E M I A dot com forward slash hostile sector. Give that a go if you get a chance. It looks fun. Haven't had a chance to play it myself, but probably worth a try. But our last bit is something that lands Are you something a bit ogreish. Uh something that kinda lands on me. It's ogreish in a way. It's really called Stunt Rally, and here's a change log for 1.8. And if you don't know what Stunt Rally is, you should really check it out. But I'll show you that in just a moment. Five new tracks, new material generated, new water mud looks. Um, just, they fixed the crash on the AMD and Intel cards. That's a big thing, because I had some issues with that new car. I got the S1 which is the Honda S1, by the way, the only sports car Honda ever made, you damn rices. Quit putting coffee cans on the back of your exhaust. We know. And replay crash load button. Check that out. Code.google.com. It's just V-Drift Ogre. Stunt Rally is what you're looking for. There's PVAs available for it. It's a fun game. I'm horrible at drifting games. The physics for it, for me, Personally, absolutely mind-boggling. I can't get it right, but it looks good. I have fun playing it. I One wish day, I was then. better at One it. One day you'll learn to drive. I will never learn to drive. And this comes from a person who owns a rather expensive sports car. No idea how to drive it. So is that going to wrap us up? That will, if the storm doesn't blow me away. That is something I guess we should note. Um, we are both on the East Coast, is that right? Yep. And we're dealing with our bandwidth going up and down. Me uh, especially, but we seem to be recovering. Yeah, it seems uh, like I'm things are coming to, back. I'm back up to 20 kilobits a second. The audio so is getting get, better and better. We might get recovery for the after show. We might have a better after show. I did my best to cover... 
Thank you very so, much. I appreciate that. All that should work out. I guess we should tell everyone where they can find us, and that... You can check Mr. Ven Stone out at, on the Twitterverse at Venstone. Hang on, wait, oh, we got to pull up the Linux Gamecast website so ah, they can see right, the gorgeous faces. We gotta, pull, we, we gotta tell the people about the HD video, SD video, and oh, audio see. RSS feeds. We gotta tell them about the Linux They Gamecast. are there, it's under the podcast. We got our iTunes MP3, iTunes video, audio, regular, standard MP3, video, SD, HD. And if you ever want to contact us, you see the little submit button. That's not what you're thinking of. Get your mind out of the gutter. That's so you can send us a note. If you got a game, you got a project, got an idea, something like that. Or even if you just generally don't like us, send, send us, us a note. Mail. Yeah, hate mail. We like it. We love it. And that little bit over here, you can always um, find Linux Gamecast Weekly on the site under cleverly hidden under Linux Gamecast Weekly there at the end. Great place to find some news, some shows, a um, couple of how-tos, Android, um, just Linux, and all that other fun stuff. And as my fantastic uh, simulation I, 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 for a human I, I, being has said, I am at Vin Stone. And I, I, I projected a bit too early. I, That's my bad. I am not Jordan Svang. I am not at the Burning Fool, but this Master of Puppets is himself. You can check him out there. I'm twisting your mind and slashing your dreams. Oh, you are the man to do that. But, in case you're wondering, we do do an after show, and if you want to stick around for it, it's usually about another 15, 20 minutes. You might and hey, my upstream just recovered, so yeah, I'll, I'll be able. You'll be able to make out what the hell I'm saying How about that. It's really going to be kinky stuff. If you're easily offended, this is pretty much where we sign off and say, "I'm Vin Stone, and I'm Jordan Svung." Cheers, guys. Peace. Out. Warning. What you're about to listen to may contain spoilers about pretty much anything that you haven't watched yet. And, well, lots of profanity. So much profanity. And welcome back to the Linux Gamecast. Um, after show, after party, we're not allowed to show you the pre-party or the after after show because it gets nasty. But here so we are nasty. again. What happens? I mean, what makes it so nasty, man? What happens? I, th I think we actually got a federal injunction saying that if we say what happens one more time, we will go to Guantanamo Bay, Bay to get cornholes. And mm. they shut that place down, too, so... Guantanamo Bay. Where is that at? Bail. Bay. Mm. Bay, baby. And miss, miss, case is not obvious. Yeah. In case it's not obvious. Yeah, we, we're still working with this, you know, always on camera doing this. But we're getting better. Do you think we're getting any better? I think we're getting significantly better. I mean, if you look at our first show, <laughs> it was to, now, pretty so fucking miserable, wasn't it? <laughs> you know what? And you know what? It just gets better each time. That's why you got to tune in. Because it will get less and less crappy until it eventually becomes good. And then all that. It, it's, it it's will never like, become good, man. I, I don't it's, think it's we're capable. Like, I mean, that requires talent. Well, no, I, the the way I see it, it's kind of like the reverse of Battlestar Galactica, where it's really good and then it starts getting really crappy. We are we're really crappy, but we get good. Hmm. And the, Pay no but attention we're, to we're, we're we're still we're we're still gonna have the thing at the end where we explain nothing. Leaving everyone completely pissed off. Can't we just go back to Earth and shag some Aborigines, huh? Well, that's the plan. Well, that that's what's the after after show is. Oh, ooh, sh don't talk about oh, that. Shit! Damn it! Damn, Damn you! I don't want to get cornholed again. <laughs> again. So, what have we been watching, man? I didn't get a chance to see South Park because I was oh. in fucking Atlanta oh. all day today and. Normally, my Monday is my traditional 
Judeo-Christian, the original day of rest, which is not Sunday, you psycho-Christians. It's Friday. Friday to Saturday. It's Monday. Monday? Mm-hmm. All right, if you say so. Wiki it. You want to wiki, wiki it right it. now? Sure, let's wiki it right now. Wiki day of rest. All right, hang on to this term, Sabbath in Hebrew, Shabbat. Sabbath, uh, Wikipedia. I guess I'm on the same page here. Yeah. Sabbath. Explain some of your Jew speak to me. Shabbat or Sabbath, as as is known in Hebrew, is Hebrew. Hebrew <laughs> is um is is typ- typically occurs on Friday evening at sundown to Saturday evening at sundown. Hmm. And Monday, come on, Chrome. What about the um people who? Deity believe, you know, um, I'll save you. Weekly, weekly Sabbath is observed on Friday. Hmm. Then I'll stand corrected, sir. He's speechless. Speechless. Wow, I'm actually right about something? <laughs> That's Dear fun. God. Well, South Park, good. Would you say watch? I there 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 were two really funny moments in okay. this week's South Park. Can you give me a general synopsis without spoiling it? You remember Blockbuster, right? Yes, it's a very endangered species uh, species in our culture. That's all you need to know. Hmm. So without, without, did without, they go full metal Walmart on Blockbuster? Blockbuster. Blackbuster, Blockbuster, that would be horrible. Did they Unless, go, no, that's the title for my new black exploitation movie. Did they give it? A, a, uh, uh, did they give it the Walmart treatment? Did they give it the Walmart treatment? Yeah, yeah, in a, to a certain degree, hmm? they, they 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 gave it the Walmart treatment. I think that's pretty cool. Then I will. I mean, I can watch it. Because I, I'd say I, I'd say watch it, but it's it's two or three, one or two, or maybe three really funny moments in a sea of mediocrity. Hmm. Well, the only thing I have planned to watch this weekend, and normally my weekend starts on Wednesday, is me and the critter. We're going to watch the new Spider Man because she really wants to watch it. That one wasn't too bad. I, I I I went on a date with a girl and we saw that, and we both fairly enjoyed it. Was that the one mind, that date? Mind you, I didn't I didn't get a second day out of it, so maybe maybe I was well, wrong. Was that one we were talking about way back when? Uh, uh possibly. you I mean, it's hard to tell you. I mean, you're such a whore. I know. Just I just, cutting I just, through them like that, but. I'm I'm like the village bicycle. Everyone gets a ride. I am like Karl Marx's theories on socioeconomics. Everybody gets a share. Did you like the movie though? I mean, am I going? I thought to... the movie was pretty good. There, there there are a couple what the fuck moments, but on a scale to over... one to um, I have a tablet in my hand. How much am I going to be paying attention to my tablet browsing Reddit? Uh, I would say, oh, well, browsing Reddit, that's a tough one. Because Reddit, Reddit's pretty captivating. Mm. Reddit is pretty captivating. I, I, I don't know how. I, I, I wasn't on Reddit during the movie. You know, that's so something I can't we did you. not if, if you, give just, a proper just shot. On, a, on an arbitrary, arbitrary scale of 1 to 10, I give it 7. I think we definitely need to, at least in the after show, um, scream at our Listen favorite. Up subreddit at linux underscore gaming linux underscore gaming and do you have anything at the top there well no. here's something you know i got the hawkins oh, oh no no i see you i see you yeah yeah but check this out let's see we are all right this linux game guy last week's episode and pay attention to this before i finished 
as soon as it was on YouTube and I posted it with the links, somebody else had already posted it. I mean, I'm not... Wow. They were on it. Not on... Well, then. Yeah. Hooray for our minor degree of internet notoriety. We're like D-level internet Linux subreddit gaming famous, man. I, I was mentioning I was mentioning to a friend of mine, technically we count as media. We can barge our way into events now. We can print media passes. Yeah. So, I hear the porn conventions in Vegas. Oh, yeah. We, we need to really discuss the open source implications of, like... Well, we need to understand of, how the like, firmware of some of the um, sex machines work, right? Yes. If we can't edit the open source... If we can't open the code on the Sibian machine, that is directly infringing on our freedom. And our excuse to go there and ask that. Exactly. And that's open the... source and porn, let's do it. Hmm. So you think I'm safe watching the Spider-Man movie? Huh? I'd, I'd say give it a watch. Uh, well, I'm going to watch it one way or the other. I mean, it's like, um, if it's not that, it's going to be some Chinese epic. Ooh. Oh, I love how cheesy they are, though. You know, some of them are really good, but... Uh, it's pretty much the same thing over and over and over. I was like, hey, well, at least this one's got Jet Li in it. Ooh, Jet Li. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, she has a crush on Sean Connery, Jet Li, and Anthony Hopkins. Only played when he's the character as Hannibal. Ah, I was going to say, Anthony Hopkins is an odd choice. Yeah. Well, Sir start. Anthony Hopkins. 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 Between that and a general dislike for pasties. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you've been watching? Uh, anything else I've been watching? Walking Dead, no, that... maybe? No, no. You know, you know what's going to happen once season three ends? I'm just going to marathon season two and three. And then... mm, you can completely skip season two. Watch the absolute end of series two. Um, First episode and last episode of season two is what I've been told. Yeah, you could really pull that in. Like what I said with Fringe, watch... Like, maybe the fifth episode of Fringe, watch the last episode of the first series of Fringe, then start. You know what I have been watching recently? What's that? This is an oldie, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, man. You know, the only thing better than Dragon Ball Z... What? Dragon Ball Z abridged. Oh, my. Yes. I cannot wait. Oh, new Helsing abridge is coming up. That's going to be... Oh, good. the third one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, that Excellent. made me uh, that, so happy when I discovered that. I was like, what? Wait, this you, is a it thing? It has to be some sort of large organized group. <laughs> you mean like the Nazis? No, that would be retarded. <laughs> Gentlemen, we are Nazis. And and then I'm going to rape her. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, that, that. No, but you know, you know, the one reason that I keep coming back to Dragon Ball Z is that announcer cracks me up to no end. Oh. Kyle Did Krillin do something hero. interesting? And can we make this last 15 minutes before they do? Find anything? out next time on Dragon Ball Z! Next really time stressing. on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. It really stresses the Z, though. I've noticed this now. No, they yeah, absolutely with that. And then we also have nails. Nail. Clean my jowls. There's an albino Namekian here. Why do we not have TV? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know they need to get rid of Guru, but... Oh, he was so funny. Na 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 Dende. 
And this is what our after show has devolved into, just quoting Dragon Ball Z abridged. There's nothing wrong with them quoting Dragon Ball Z abridged, my friend. Hey, you, hey, we should probably get one or two of those guys on here. You know, Maybe we get probably them on, on could. Gaming. You'd be surprised who would jump in for an interview. Hmm. But I think one thing we're going to be working on is getting you either to install Ubuntu on a petition so your headset works. Oh, oh I actually, I haven't tried it on the new kernel update that got pushed out hmm. recently. Uh, and actually, no, I've noticed that uh, even on Windows, um, the sound is coming in granularly. I think I think this is I think this is time. I either need to get a new headset or, or try to resolder the mic. Mm. Those are tricky. I resoldered the earpiece in my um, Logitech device, and I mean we're talking. I mean I had to cut wire strippers with a razor blade just to get to the wire to resolder it, and I'm really wow. good at soldering. I'm terrible at soldering, so. One of the first jobs I ever had was when I came to the States was working for Scientific Atlanta designing boards for the cable modems. Cable modems. Yeah. Prototypes. I'm still stuck on one of those. One day. Yeah, that's something... Uh, that's a big thing that I have a hard time explaining to people. I'm on fiber, yes. But I'm on incredibly... You know, when, when you hear fiber, you're thinking, one. I'm think I'm fifty megabits uh, I, I, directional symmetric. Yeah, I, I got a story about that, but I'll let you finish. No reality, twenty four megabits down, three up. But here's the thing: it's Monday through Sunday, that's it. Period. Dedicated line, just like DSL. Always. Not the fastest thing in the Always. world, but when you're doing a show and you need reliable bandwidth. Yeah. Actually, so, my story time. Story so, time. I've made a new friend who lives in Sweden, and he made me a very interesting offer. Okay. Apparently, he so he extended the offer. If I marry him, mm -hmm. then after two years, I get a free Swedish citizenship, complete with their gigabit fiber. Hmm. One gigabit down, 100 megabit up. Well, you know, I guess maybe long as you're at the top, it wouldn't be so bad. Oh, no, I told him right off that. Bitch, you know I'm cheating on you the second we tie the knot. And, and he's the, like, Bitch, the Swedish the guys are kind of hot. I mean, you. yeah, I understand, you know. You couldn't just have one Swedish guy. No, no. But hey, you know what? I'm, I'm, it's tempting. I might take him up on that. <laughs> That'd be gonna filmable. Filmable? Probably not. There's way too much pasty white guy for any type of fetish site. Yeah, I wouldn't even. You hear oh, that, internet? You, you, you'd mm -hmm. factor that. I know you'd factor that. Yeah. Something I do want to mention before we wrap up our after show. Now, you'll notice this if you're watching this, because you're not watching it live. Because we don't have the extra system to do that yet. And we'll mention that next week of, you know, maybe you can kick a few shackles that way. But perhaps we'll set up a little system for that, maybe with Amazon referrals and all that fun stuff. And when I say maybe, we're definitely doing that. Um, You'll see some animated and really horrible, you know, segment graphics. Now, if you're into the market of, you know, doing these things... Send them our way. We need one for news, Linux, Steam, update, gaming of the week, etc. Hardware and what we're up to. Now, here's the catch. It has to be un done under Linux, and it will be open sourced. I will need, you know, if you do it, you get credit for it. We'll credit you. We'll actually have little subtitles. Not subtitles, credits. How about that? I'll create a new word. We'll call them credits. And credit. you will get credit for that. But what you will create will be free for anyone else to download, including your 
original file from, you know, be it Blender or I don't know, whatever 3D model you use on the Linux, but we'll need that. If you're up for that, man, seriously, scream at us on, you know, show at linuxgamecast.com. Yeah. So do we got anything else we need to scream about? Fuck D-Link. That's pretty much it. (laughs) If we could make that a show title, we would. We would. So that's been the end of our after show. I will definitely check out some South Park knowledge after I watch um, the amazing Spider-Man tomorrow. The amazing Earl Spider-Man. I'm sure it will be fantastic. Until then, this fine young gentleman here... He is not a cannibal, just a fine young gentleman. Jordan at the Burning Fool. I, I do drive them crazy. Part of Linux Gamecast and Vince Stone. Part of Linux Gamecast. Check us out every week, guys, and always for after show. Let's wave goodbye to the lovely people. Bye, lovely people.